John Morant, <clears throat> nobody believes you, bro. Nobody believes you. I don't say that flippantly. I'm a fan of John Morant. He is a superstar that I want this game to celebrate for years and years to come. Me, speaking for everybody here, I believe, not just here at ESPN, but in the world of sports, why would we root against you? Because it's better for all of us that you just put your greatness on display with no troubles whatsoever because I believe this man will win the championship. It wouldn't surprise me if he won the championship next year after he comes back because I think he'll be hell of But the fact of the matter is John Morant, and I'm speaking directly to John Morant and his family, the reason why you're not believed is because you already lied. And that statement that Adrian Wojnarowski, the ultimate insider, just read on the national airwaves that he received from your agent. OK, I'm not casting aspersions on your agent or anybody else. I'm saying it sounds somewhat similar to what you said on camera months ago with your first suspension. So he has John Moran has to understand you're not believed. Nobody believes the thing that you're saying right now. You go, you really are in a show improve point. You're at a show improve point. We know what you could do on the basketball court, but now it's a show improve element when it comes to your character. Mm -hmm. Because the mistakes you made, you not only looked Adam Silver in the face, you went on that on camera on national TV getting interviewed by Jalen Rose, and you clearly lied. No one believes you. We hope. You're telling the truth. But if you ask somebody to bet money that the veracity and truthfulness of your words are something we should embrace, ain't nobody bet money on that, bro. Nobody. You need to know that as you move forward. That's all I wanted to say.